Good morning. Today is uh, October the 3rd, 2022, and we are going to begin uh, Lesson 4 from our Believer's Bible Class, um, the Discipleship Manual, um, Lesson 4, titled Baptism. This is the, the sheet on baptism. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, first, I would like to pray uh, and, and just invite the Holy Spirit to come and speak to us through this through this word and through this lesson, so that way we can um, be transformed um, by the renewing of our minds, um, the Word of God. So, Father, I just thank you that uh, we ask for wisdom. Uh, we ask for the spirit of wisdom, revelation, and knowledge of your Word, uh, which we're going to be speaking today, Father God. And I just pray that as uh, as you use me. Um, as a vessel to, um, to to speak forth your word, um, that that you would use me in a way that would uh, not only help myself but others that are watching this video to become more like you in all that we do in Jesus' name. And I pray that you give us ears to hear what the Spirit is saying in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, so baptism number four. Uh, it says in this lesson we will discuss three baptisms into the body of Christ, water baptism, and the baptism of the Holy Spirit, all of which are for you and I today. Uh, the three baptisms, number one is into the body of Christ, number two is in water, and number three is in the Holy Spirit. Number one, baptism into the body of Christ. This baptism is synonymous with the experience of conversion. First Corinthians chapter 12, Verses 12 through 13 says, As the body is one and has many members, but all the members of that one body, being many, are one body, so also is Christ. For by one Spirit we were all baptized into one body. Whether Jesus, or I'm sorry, whether Jews or Greeks, whether slaves or free, all and have all been made to drink into the Spirit. Um, it is the work of the Holy Spirit who grants the new Christian into the mystical body of Christ. Number two, baptism in water. As soon as a person has been saved, he or she should follow the example of our Lord Jesus Christ and obey his teachings regarding water baptism. Water is used as a symbol of the death to sin the burial of the past and old nature which is found in Matthew chapter 28 verses 19 through 20 we can go ahead and go there right now those of you who have your Bibles you can follow along it's in Matthew chapter 28 It says, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even unto the ends of the world. Again, there's another uh, uh, reference, is uh, Matthew chapter 3. Verse 13 through 17, which reads, Then cometh Jesus from Galilee to Jordan and unto John to be baptized of him. But John forbade him, saying, I have need to be baptized of thee, and comest thou to me? And Jesus answered and said unto him, Suffer it to be so now, for thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he suffered him. And Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straight away out of the water, and lo, the heavens were opened unto him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and light lighting upon him. And lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Then 
The next uh, reference is out of Acts chapter 22, verse 16. It says, And now, why tarriest thou? Arise and be baptized, and wash away thy sins, calling on the name of the Lord. Um, and the rising into our new life in Christ. Um, so, oh, I'm sorry. Water is, water is used as a symbol of the death to sin, the burial of the past, and old nature and the rising into our new life in Christ. Once you are baptized by full immersion in water, symbolically you are no longer the old person Satan held under his power. You are a new person over whom he has no right. Amen. Baptism is a public witness to that fact, which is found in Colossians chapter 2, verse 12. Colossians chapter 2 verse 12 says buried with him in baptism wherein also ye are risen with him through the faith of the operation of God who hath raised him from the dead amen Symbolically, you rise out of the water in newness of resurrection life, having publicly testified to the world that from now on you live for Christ. Found in Romans chapter 6, verse 3 through 4, says, Know ye, know ye not that so many of us as we're baptized into Jesus Christ, we're baptized into his death. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into death. That like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk. Um, in the newness of his resurrection. or a new, newness of life. <clears throat> Amen. Number three is uh, baptism in the Holy Spirit, which is found in Acts chapter 2, verse 38. Which reads, Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Peter said to the people that once a person becomes a Christian, a publicity testifies, or I'm, I'm sorry, Peter said to the people that once a person becomes a Christian and publicly testifies to the reality of it in water baptism, he should expect to receive the baptism in the Holy Spirit. This is the experience that links a Christian up to the power of God. Uh, we are called to be witnesses. Indeed, a person who has truly experienced Christ cannot keep quiet about it. He will want to share it, which is found in Mark chapter 5. Verse 18 through 20. And when he was come into the ship, he that had been possessed with the devil prayed him that he might be within him. Howbeit Jesus suffered him not, but said unto him, Go home to thy friends and tell them how great things the Lord hath done for thee and hath had compassion on thee. Amen. And the next one is in John chapter 4. Uh, 
chapter 4, verse 28 through 30. It says, The woman then left her water pot and went on her way into the city and saith to the, to the men, Come, see a man which told me all things that ever I did. Is not this the Christ? Then they went out of the city and came unto him. In the meanwhile, his disciples prayed him, saying, Master, eat. Um, salvation through Jesus is God's gift to a sinful world. Again, salvation through Jesus is God's gift to a sinful world. Found in John chapter 3, verse 16. Which reads, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The baptism of the Spirit is Christ's gift to the Christian. It is the power to demonstrate by a holy life and effective witness. This is very, very crucial here. The baptism of the Spirit is Christ's gift to the Christian. It is the power to demonstrate. So the baptism of the Spirit is a gift to us as a power to demonstrate by a holy life and effective witness. So after we get baptized, we want to we want to live a holy life. Not a perfect life, but a holy life. We want to be consecrated to him. Um, and perfection perfection follows those who, who continue to remain in him. Um, that's another topic. Um, but it's 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 for a, a life and effective witness that Jesus is alive today and is active in our lives. Um, the, without the Holy Spirit, there is no testimony because th that's what we need to overcome sin, overcome temptation, overcome obstacles in our life that um, God allows the enemy to throw at us. Um, Acts chapter 1, verse 8. says, but ye shall receive power, power, dunamis power, after that he, the Holy Ghost, is come upon you, and ye shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and all Judea, and Samaria, and unto uttermost parts, the uttermost parts of the earth. Seek the Lord, and ye shall find knock and the door shall be open unto you there is no special time or place where a seeker can receive the baptism of the holy spirit um you simply ask in faith and jesus will give you give give it to you the sign that the holy spirit has come to fill your body is that you will speak in tongues a supernaturally inspired language you have never learned before you don't even have to wait until after your water baptism now is a good time as any. So that is the end of, of, this, uh, of this chapter, uh, chapter four on baptisms. Um, so yeah, if anybody has any questions um, about baptism or you, you wanna get baptized or uh, you wanna get baptized in water, you wanna get baptized in the Holy Spirit, um, please make sure to, um, to reach out to us through through the uh, the links that are on here, um, or however uh, however you can through through reaching us through uh, social media, um, and we'll try our best to help help you understand more so um, on on the study of baptism of the Holy Spirit. Um, uh, so I just pray, Father Heavenly Father, I just pray, Lord, that um, that that this uh, baptism of water and of the Holy Spirit and of um that that it would be irrelevant in our lives that we would indeed um uh, have testimony once we have received the baptism of the holy spirit that our testimony would be that um that we go from glory to glory and and, and uh because um because christ uh, lives in us the hope of glory 
Um, we thank you for um, for the Holy Spirit, and we invite the Holy Spirit into our lives um, to, to walk us, walk with us through life, and um, and 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 uh, correct us when we need to be corrected, and uh, and that we would walk in power, love, and a sound mind. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen.